The Real Heart of Darkness In 1899 King Leopold II of Belgium, who was the then private owner of the Congo Free State, knew their many scientific secrets, resources to plunder, hidden and unclaimed in his newly bought property, which happened to be larger than Western Europe in size. So it was a stroke of luck that the king's German great-nephew, Count Wolfgang von Strassenberger desperately wanted to lead an expedition to traverse the innermost and until this day undiscovered to westernize parts of the Congo and the secret treasures it held, on a steamboat down the Congo River. Count von Strassenberger had no experience in colonial expeditions especially in the most hazardous unknowns in the world, having only been somewhat of an observer on a Polynesian expedition in his, his youth. But he was a philosopher, keen man of science and truth seeker and was adamant that he would discover much on his expedition which would be funded entirely by his great uncle. Fame and monetary riches meant little to the German count who was a black sheep in his family. There isn't much information as to what happened to him next on his expedition apart from him and his crew went missing and were presumed dead, until the count emerged 16 years later in 1915. He is said to be a sickly and aged madman, when he presented himself to the, the Belgian officials in Stanleyville now known as the city Kisangani. In his mad ramblings, he spoke of cannibalism, the grotesque deaths of his entire crew, evil juju magic, shamans with tentacled limbs, river monster abominations and other tales that would instill does make even the most rational of men quiver with fear. The Count would die a few days later, never making it back to his native Europe. On the Count's person he had a roll of film which were later developed in Paris, these are the photos that have been kept under lock and key in the museum or Brussels, until now. Don't forget to comment like share and subscribe to this small channel. It will help a lot.